Magic is something that has fascinated humans like nothing else. And when some of the greatest magicians take center stage, we forget everything and just can't figure out what's going on. But not anymore. So, be it Adam Trent's split in half trick or the beautiful Lindsay Lohan levitating in air. Hello and welcome back, and today we are going to unlock the greatest magic secrets of all time. So, let's get started. At number 7, Dynamo lifts Lindsay Lohan. In this trick, Dynamo levitates the famous actress Lindsay Lohan, sitting on a table. And even this trick has a secret to it. Let's reveal it. If you look closely at this trick, you can see that the tabletop is a bit thicker than it should actually be. This is because it has a motorized mechanism inside it that helps Dynamo to perform this entire trick. The table has a small seat, and it's of the same size and thickness on which Lindsay Lohan can easily sit. The small seat also has a mechanism built in the rear leg of the table, and the rod that holds the seat above the table is hidden by Lindsay Lohan's leg and her seating position. Also, if you look at this angle, the footage here is not completely shown and seems to be cut. This is done to conceal the rod at the back that holds the seat from the viewers. The camera angle in this entire trick is never changed, and that's probably because if the camera angle is changed even slightly, the rod holding the seat will be visible. And to add some spice to this trick, it was an already planned trick where Lindsay Lohan acted as a stooge for the entire trick. At number 6, Josephine Lee's Dress Change Josephine Lee, the beautiful magician on Britain's Got Talent, was locked up on a pole with chains all over her entire body. But what we'll see now is just incredible. Within a moment of covering Josephine with a curtain wall, she replaces her position with one of her assistants. And if that's not enough, she even gets her entire dress changed. So, how did that happen? Well, before revealing the secret, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you can get instant notifications of our new video uploads. Now, let's get to the secret. Well, if you look closely in the video, the pole on which Josephine was tied upon was truly a real one and not a gimmick pole. Even the chains that locked her were real. But wait a second. Can you see how this bolt locks the iron frame on the pole on which all the chains are connected? Now, this bolt is very easy to open, and it's this bolt which forms the key part to perform the entire trick. When Josephine was covered with the curtain, the bolt was opened instantly, and she replaces her position with the assistant and the red dress that she is now seen wearing was concealed all this while inside the black dress that she was initially wearing. She quickly got that black dress off to make the magic happen. At number 5, David Copperfield's Great Wall of China Act In this magic trick, David Copperfield, the greatest magician of modern times, tries to defy all the rules of reality by passing through the Great Wall of China. The entire trick was captured by a flying camera with no camera cuts in between. David Copperfield vanishes himself through the wall and gets out from the other end of the wall. So, how can this even be done? Well, here's the secret. There's quite a lot of preparation required before performing such kind of illusionary acts. In the entire trick, it's not just David Copperfield, but there's also a body double of David Copperfield, which was performed by one of his assistants. If you look at the stage, it's covered from all sides before David Copperfield enters it. Now, the sources of light which are used to create shadows create some dark space in the corners where a person can hide without getting caught in the shadow of light. Also, at the bottom of the stage, there's a trapdoor where the body double of David Copperfield is hiding. As soon as the stage is covered, he gets out of the trapdoor and hides himself in the corner where the light cannot capture his shade. As soon as David Copperfield enters inside this cube from the corner where the body double is hiding, the body double steps forward and acting like David Copperfield, and David Copperfield takes the body double's place in the corner. Now the body double makes gestures as if he is entering the wall, but in reality, he just pushes himself into the corner of the cube to hide from the shade on the screen, and later goes back into the same trap door to hide himself. While all this is performed, there's another trapdoor beneath the stage that makes way for David Copperfield to get into that staircase. 
Yes, that staircase that David Copperfield used to climb up onto the stage has enough cavity to fit him inside it. And that's the reason the staircase is removed as soon as the act begins, because it is this set of prop that carries David Copperfield to the other side of the wall. Now on the other side of the wall, the same staircase is connected to the stage where David Copperfield is hiding, as you already know. To make the act look even more elusive, his assistants raised a cloth panel, and the hand gestures that seem to be pushing the cloth from inside the wall are actually the hands of the assistants themselves, who are hidden. You can also see in the footage that only one hand of the assistants can be seen, while the other is hidden behind the panel, making that creepy illusion. Now once again the stage is covered, and a source of light is placed to create the shade. After the stage is covered, David Copperfield gets out of the trap door and hides himself in the corner of the stage, and then makes the act as if he is getting out of the Great Wall of China. Quite amazing, isn't it? At number 4, Chris Angel's Elephant Trick In this magic trick, Chris Angel vanished a 4-ton elephant in front of a live audience, and that too with a human chain covering the entire 360 degrees around the elephant. So, how did he do it? Well, here's the secret. Firstly, the people involved in making the human chain are all stooges, who make the entire trick come alive. But the man with the camera is a stranger. Now, if you look closely in the video, as soon as the backdrop is raised up, Chris Angel runs at the back side, while the man who has the camera is shooting from the front. And it is this moment during which the entire trick is performed. After Chris Angel shows the elephant for the last time, the backdrop from the backside is opened and the elephant is taken away very quickly by breaking the human chain and is hidden somewhere in the background. And nothing in the camera is captured because the camera is at a straight angle in the front and the guy with the camera is also at the front. Now Chris Angel asks the assistants to rotate the backdrop and then make it fall, which makes the entire magic complete because now, as you must have already guessed, the elephant has disappeared from the center. At number 3, David Blaine's Arm Twist Can you put your hand on the floor and rotate it to a complete 360 degrees? Well, that's impossible, you must think. But it's quite possible if you are David Blaine, the magician known to challenge the human potential beyond its limits. Look here how he rotates his arm to complete 360 degrees. Well, this trick also has a secret. David Blaine, in this trick, positions his arm on the ground in a very different way. Instead of placing his right hand down on the ground, he instead flips his hand to 180 degrees and then keeps that on the floor. This arm position now makes it a lot easier for him to rotate his arm to more than 360 degrees. Also in the entire trick, we cannot figure out that he has placed his arm in a different way due to the long-sleeved jacket that he wears, and this covers his arm completely. Number 2. The Rising Ring Trick Magicians all over the world have been performing this awesome-looking trick, where as you can see, the ring keeps on climbing along the string. The secret to this trick is quite simple and easy to understand. The string is actually a rubber band. In addition, you need a ring to go along with it. Now this trick almost works by itself. Actually, the rubber band does all the magic and you are the one who gets the applause. First, cut the rubber band in length. You now have a long piece. Now put a ring onto the rubber band, conceal half of it, and then stretch the band out. Make sure it doesn't break and keep most of the rubber band in your left hand. After stretching it out, you'll have a long, loose piece of that band dangling and hidden in your back palm. So this is the initial position. Both of your thumbs should be at the same level so that the rubber band is horizontal. Also make sure the back of your hands are pointing towards the audience so that they don't see this loose piece of the rubber band hanging out. Now with the ring placed closer to the right fingers, slowly start releasing pressure off the loose piece in a steady manner to avoid any kind of jerking. This makes the ring climb up the rubber band as if it were on an escalator. Thus making the audience believe that this is indeed a great gravity-defying trick. So finally, the number one trick on our list, Adam Trent's Split Personality Trick. 
Adam Trent, most famously known as a futurist magician, is widely recognized for his split personality trick on TV shows and in many other performances. No doubt he's just an amazing performer and magician packed together in a single human being. If you look at this trick, Adam gets over a mechanism, which splits his body in two parts, and then using the lever on his side, he lifts his body creating the illusion that he is indeed cut in half. Well, that's a truly amazing trick, and it can never be justified as to how it's actually done. But once again, we went an extra mile to figure out how this illusion is performed, and we certainly found the secret to this trick. The trick in this entire magic lies in Adam's unpredictable ability to fold his legs sideways, which can be done perfectly if you practice enough yoga postures for your legs. Now, if you look at the mechanism, the legs that you can see here are not the actual legs of Adam, but they are just an elusive prop that makes it seem like his legs. Also, the metal plate on which he is seated and which seems to divide his body into two equal halves is quite thick enough, into which a person's legs can easily be hidden if folded the correct way. As soon as the girl takes up the backdrop, Adam folds his legs and gets into the mechanism, and the fake legs are placed to make the illusion that his body is indeed split in half. So guys, hope you got the secrets behind the world's greatest magic tricks. Which trick did you like the most? And name any other magic trick you would want us to reveal. Do like and share this video with your friends on social media. For more such amazing things, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And finally, thanks for watching.